Hello YouTubers, this is Michael Fuller from uh, the YouTube channel Fuller's Hobbies. Um, you know, I just wanted to get on here again and do another video. Um, I had a package come in that I ordered um, specifically for my PS5. I have one that doesn't have the disk drive as far as like being able to put the, um, you know, uh, CDs in for the video games. Uh, it's just got the internal hard drive. So it's, uh, I guess you call it a diskless unit, um, other than having an internal hard drive. So I bought it um, primarily because I had an Xbox uh, One that was maybe nine years old, 10 years old, and it was the older units that came out, uh, gaming consoles. And you know, my nephews, they got a PS5 and I wanted to be able to play with them right where I don't get to see them all the time and thought I could chat and then even you know some friends that I work with and things like that so it would be a good way for me to de-stress after work some and just um, you know have more to do in the winter time as I as time permits and allows it whether that's the weekend or sometimes a couple of days a week throughout the week so I found now and downloaded some games that you know the, on the PS5 they take up a lot of space and you can fill up your inter internal hard drive pretty quick with just like maybe four or five games. And that's just filed. So I had an external hard drive I hooked up to the PS5, but it was USB 2.0 instead of 3.0. And it will allow me to use it, of course. It's a terabyte hard drive, or actually two terabyte hard drive. It allowed me to use it, but it won't let me ins install PS5 games on it, only archive PS4 games. So I started looking online and, and, and seeing what kind of compatible hard drives um, there is for the PS5 and I found out you got, need a 3.0 um, USB hard drive for them in order to archive PS5 games. So I bought uh, this one from Amazon. It's um, the WD Black P10 game drive. Uh, works with uh, Xbox, PlayStation, or even your computer. This is PC. It's five terabyte. The speed is 130 mil, uh, megabytes per second, and it's a 2.5 portable hard drive. Um, it's got a three-year warranty. It's got a metal top cover for passive cooling. That's pretty cool. I thought it was uh, nice about it. Um, the cable that you get with it's USB Type A, uh, A to Micro B, and um, you know it's it's uh, it basically says on here. On the back, compatibility, uh, if you can see it on the thing, PS4 and 5. And it says play and store PS4 games, archive PS5 games, which is what I want to do. And you can use it on the Xbox Series X and S and store them as you need to. So this is um, the one that I needed for, you know, doing what I need to do. That way I can make sure I have enough room. So I went ahead and got the 5 terabyte since you can literally fill a one terabyte with probably five games, maybe, depending on how big they are. Um, especially the well-known games like Call of Duty, Madden, NBA 2K, or 23, um, all those games. And um, I, 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 this one stood out to me after looking online because it had high performance game drive and I wanted something that would be quick if I stored them so that I could copy, you know, quick to it and then have spent hours on all that to archive the games as well. I was hope, I'm hoping that you can load the game from that drive if you install it there, but most likely you're probably going to have to copy to the internal drive. That I don't know yet because I've not owned the PS5 that long for, you know, maybe a, a month now. And I'm just, you know, learning um, the newer system out. So. I'll give you guys an update on that, and that way if I find out you only can save the games and archive them and not be able to actually play them off there unless you move them to your internal storage, I'll let you guys know. But I have a feeling, just me being in IT, that most likely it's going to require it on the internal and the external is just going to allow you to um, archive the games for you know you to move them back to the internal, but you just free up space as needed so um, that way you don't have to re really really re-download the game over the internet and you just really are going between the hard drives copying it.
so we'll see I'll, I'll, I'll uh, get some you know feedback on that as I get to have time to uh, explore and, and tinker with it but just want to open this up I unboxed it earlier I wasn't going to do a video and I said why not you know to give you something else new to see and then maybe it would help somebody else out that's looking in the market for a, a hard drive but like it was saying the metal uh, cover it's helped for cooling and you can feel it it's cool already it draws the coolness to it which is really nice and it's uh, not really heavy heavy but it's you can tell it's it's uh if you dropped it you should be okay it should be protected well and you got your USB um, cable micro a to micro B uh, cable which is supposed to be 50 or five gigs per second it says which is supposed to be fast so but all you do is you know you got your port on the back you just hook it up and then you take this USB in and put it in your get the front bay of your PS5 or the back it's got two USB ports on the back I currently have both on the back taken up by one external hard drive and then my controller uh, charger bay to where you can charge your controller so I want to hook this up and once I you know hook it up and get it formatted to work under the PS5 I'm going to you know try to um, use it and see if you can play a game from it or just can move a game to it and have to move it back to the internal storage to be able to play it and that way I can learn how it works and then I'll update you on maybe another video, but I'm not going to really, you know, walk you through the setup of the hard drive on the screen or anything like that. Just uh, figure it'd be good to talk about the product. Then give you another video saying, hey, you know, I was able to do this with it after it formatted automatically after hooking it to the system. And uh, that way, if I see that it only archive, maybe I'll show you how to move games to it those kinds of things in another video. But you guys have a good one, a good night, and uh, God bless y'all.